So in my last video, we talked about uh, Nikon's interval settings uh, program and, and how to use it, sort of. This week, well, this week, we're going to talk about another way to use it. But first, I want you to know what you're looking at is winter here at our house in Alaska and my dogs are real curious about it, so they're looking out the window. <laughs> I thought that would be a good way to get this video going. Anyway, so yeah, I was looking through some of my time-lapse uh, photographs, you know, that I use to make time-lapse videos, and, and I came across one that I took a couple weeks ago, and it, it was at nighttime. It was, well, it was actually early morning, and I was looking through it. I didn't, uh, I don't think I put any clips of that in the last video I, I put up here on YouTube. But anyway, as I was looking at it, I remembered that I used to love doing star trail photographs. And 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 I noticed there were stars in this video. So I uh, I downloaded a, a soft, some software to do star trails. I, I think it's called uh, Star Track or... Tracks, Star Tracks, I think it's called, and uh, and it's pretty good, pretty good uh, software, and so I put all these pictures in. There's 350 pictures, uh, photographs here that I took of this same scene, and I made a. Uh, whoa, what's wrong, Winnie? What's wrong? So I made a. Uh, I made a, a a photograph, a star trail photograph out of it, and it came out really nice. I mean, really nice. I I was kind of happy when I seen the results of this, and I'm glad I downloaded that software. So I thought I'd encourage you guys today, if you haven't done a star trail for a while, maybe uh maybe you should try that. If you got the winter blues like I do, then uh, give it a try and see what happens. Let me let me first uh, run run that uh run that time lapse of this scene and you can see what that looks like i think it's you know it's a few seconds long probably i think 14 seconds or something like that and so we'll run that right now as i'm talking and yeah that that's interesting the stars are moving you know across the sky and everything so when i looked at that i thought that's pretty cool so i'll just uh We'll run another one, and uh, and this time, I'm just going to make trails out of it. And here's what I got right here. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And so, besides doing standard trails like that, you can uh, adjust the software so it does what they call, I think it's a, called a comet uh, trails. And this is what that looks like. Same photographs, same pictures and everything. But it, now it looks like comets racing across that old sky. So there's a lot you can do with this. I I haven't really studied it into, uh, too much, but it does have some options you can set, and then you can save them as a JPEG to wherever you want to save them and do whatever you want to do with them. So I just thought I'd do this video for you guys and uh, and and see how you like it. You should try this. Let me, I'm going to switch the screen back to, right there I am. And now, there we go. That's what I wanted to do right there. So that's, uh, that's, of course, my head. <laughs> and then behind me is, it's a winter day today. We're all having fun. We're just sitting here in the house and kind of figuring out what to do. And so I just thought I'd run this little video. Now I'm going to put links up to this software and I, I am going to, I'm going to print a picture. I'm going to try to print out that photograph of the star trails. And if I do, I will put that up at the very end of this video. So you can look at, it's going to be a 12 by 19 on a Epson cold press natural as normal. So, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we'll see what I can come up with. Anyway, Thanks for watching today, and thanks for all the uh, views and comments and likes on that last video. I, I was real pleased with that. 
I know it's not a huge amount of visitors to it, but it was a few, and I'm happy to see that. Anyway, you guys have a nice day, and uh, enjoy what we're looking at out my window. This what view you're looking at here is what I, where I'm usually facing when I take these pictures. That's exactly where I was looking uh, with the Star Trails picture and with the time lapse. Just that. <laughs> uh, uh oh, uh, just that. There's too much snow on the way today. So, anyway, take care, guys, and we will talk to you again. Thanks for stopping by. See you later. Bye. Well, I told you I would uh, show you a photograph or a print of that photograph of the Star Trails. And I just need to pop in here at the end of the video and and uh, let you guys look at that, I guess. So here it is. It's, it's like I said, it's on uh, Epson Cold Press Natural. And I'll hold it up there as close as I can. And uh, so... What we have here, this was taken with a Nikon D600. I used the 600 because the batteries last, seem to last better than the D200 batteries do. And I wanted to take a lot of pictures in this setting, so I used the 600. The, uh, the, the lens I used was a 14 millimeter F2.8 Rockinon lens, a cool lens. It's one of my favorite lenses. The exposure was 10 seconds at f2.8 ISO 1000. So yeah, that's a full frame uh, file there with the D600. Came out pretty nice. A little dark in the, in, down there in the bottom in that on the la in the land there, but it was a lot darker than that when I was taking the photograph. So I'm, I'm happy with this. It, it, those star trails look so nice. I really like this picture. So there you go. And uh, here's the lens and camera that I used just uh, so you could see it. The Rockinod's a really cool little lens, actually. Real wide angle, especially on the full frame, full frame uh, camera. So that's that. Thanks for watching today, guys. And and like and again, thanks for the views and comments. A lot of good comments on my last video. It was kind of fun answering those comments. Uh, anyway, thank you very much. And uh, get out there and take some Star Trail pictures. Oh, don't forget, I left a link to that software at least I hope I did, <laughs> down below in the description. So you guys take care, and I'll see you next video. Have a nice weekend. See you now.